you are ugly and it's your fault. Have you ever looked into the mirror and feel like, oh, I'm not fine, I'm not beautiful, I am ugly? Or do you have low self-esteem because of how you think about yourself or how you think other people feel about you? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about self-confidence, okay? So now, who gave you the standard of beauty and ugliness when God himself said he has created us in his own image and after his likeness? Are you trying to say that God is ugly or are you trying to underrate the artwork of God? Like they say, it's a saying that, that says we are like pencil in the hands of our creator. So if you say that you are ugly, then you are underrating the artwork of God almighty that created us no human being knows the standard of beauty and ugliness the only thing the bible says about ugliness is the heart of a man they say the heart of a man is desperately wicked the, ne the bible never said anything about our physical and facial appearance so why then will you now see yourself as ugly when the one who created you never gave a stand they never say this particular face is how a beautiful face should be they never say this particular face is how an ugly face should be said we are all beauty and we are all in his own image and after his likeness start seeing yourself in a greater light start seeing yourself like a goddess stop wishing you were better stop wishing you are someone else stop allowing social media to mislead you and make you feel less of yourself because you do not have much followers much likes and much engagement on your social media don't feel less of yourself because of social media just because you've seen people doing filter skincare you don't even know what is behind so my dear rock that impulse well rock that um discoloration well beauty is just a perception of people's opinion people's view and you are not ugly ugliness depends on your own perception about yourself Remember, life is too short to constantly think of how we look or whether people think we are pretty or else you are going to drive yourself into depression when you think that everyone who meets you should think that you are beautiful. Like I said, beauty is a perception, an individual perception. So if someone thinks in their own view that you are not fine, what do you think about yourself? Are you fine in your own eyes? You will drive yourself into depression if you want everyone around you to tell you that you are beautiful. So just be a standard of beauty to yourself and that's all that matters. Parents should stop using children's physical looks to insult them because that's where low self-esteem starts from. When you constantly tell your child, oh, yeah, look at you, your big nose, look at your big eyes, look at your head. You can address your child without using their physical appearance to insult them because most people who have low self-esteem start from their parents. It is you parents who bring your child down by the how you talk to them, how you insult them. You can tell them they are beautiful. You can tell them they are image of God. Don't use your child's physical appearance to insult them. You are already the beginning of their downfall. You are the beginning of their low self-esteem. I remember how my dad would always tell me that I am beautiful. Tell me that I am fine. You tell me that I am good looking. Yes, my dad would always tell me that. And I remember how I used to be bullied in primary school and I, I used to be so such a reserved child, quiet and all. And then one day my dad now told me I won't look for anybody's trouble. But if somebody looks for your trouble, right? You should if the if the person slap you, slap the person back. It is since then he built my confidence that I don't allow anybody to to cross me like if you do me, I go do you. You get and it helped me that they did i never see any human being that is better than me for me in my eyes i'm the best and i remember when i went for a beauty pageant right my first pageant i was so shy i was such a quiet reserved person and prior to that i remember the time that i was asked to sing the responsible song in my school and i was shaking i couldn't sing the song <laughs> Another time they asked me to read a passage in, in secondary school. 
He started saying malaria, I think malaria, because I was shaking and shaking. I used to be so reserved. I never wanted the teacher to point me out to talk in front. And then back to my first project, when I went there, my legs were shaking. I couldn't contain, I couldn't cast work. That's why I was among the, I didn't even come among top 10. So, after the pageant now, I now told myself, uh, before then again, I went for Nigerian Idol auditioning. And I was just shivering and shaking. I couldn't sing. And this is someone that everybody says I can sing. So tell me why I reached there and I am shivering and shaking. So I have to tell myself. The, at, you know, there's a point in life that all you need, all you have is your own confidence. So I told myself, I am beautiful. I can cut work on my own. And my costumes are beautiful. If I feel this pageant, it is because of myself. Because I was going for another different pageant in my school. So I told myself, you better win this pageant. Because the secret to the success of this pageant is yourself. If you can be confident to do what you've been practicing on the in your own room. To do what you've been practicing on your own and your room. Then you will win this pageant. If you fail this pageant, it is because of yourself. So now everything to lose or to win was in my palm i have no option than to be confident for myself and that was how i confidently went on stage cut work the way i was cut working in my room spoke the way i practice because that's the problem you can practice and when you reach people's place you are shaking so i did exactly how i practice guess what that was how i won so you just have to be confident for yourself. And there are times in the world that all you need is just to be confident. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Bye.